So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. It's time for another Union Canal video. And you can t already see by the title of the video, we're going to go check out lock number six. In my last video, uh, I lamented the fact that we could get to lock number six because I didn't have permission for that property. Well, that, well, that has changed, obviously. Uh, just the other night, I got a text from them telling me I was more than welcome to come check out lock number six, explore and film on their property. So that's pretty awesome. So we're headed over there in just a few minutes. Asked if I could be there this morning around 10. Today is August 19th, a Friday morning. So thank you to them for letting me come out there and check it out. So we'll go out there and look at it together here in a moment. But here is lock number seven again. Of course, we were here in the last video. I just kind of parked here to do my intro before heading over to find lock number six. So I'm looking forward to see what lock number six looks like, to see what its current condition is. Does it look anything like lock, lock number seven or some of the other ones we've seen, or is it kind of you know falling apart like some of the others are? We'll find out in just a little bit. And here we are. Of course, when I was here last time, we kind of looked up this way to what I thought was lock number six. I'm not entirely sure if what we were looking at was lock number six up there. Kind of saw a stone wall up there, but today we'll find out. <laughs> Once again, this is the canal right here. All right, here we go. I definitely see the remains of lock six up here. Like, so this is a place that also has like a tunnel around here somewhere too. Yeah, here it is. Here's lock number six. This is what we were seeing the other day. In this film we were seeing this wall right here. Alright, but it is in awesome shape. Wow. Lock number six. Of course lock number seven was all cleaned up and fixed up a little bit, but this is what they look like in their more natural state here. Let's go ahead and walk up the whole bridge going across there. We'll stay off of that. Looks like there's a few places where it's crumbled a little bit here on the edge. Here's the end. And our canal continues on up that way. So that's a cool shot of it going up through there. Of course, we are right in someone's backyard, which is why I didn't come down here last time. So I said it passed, sometimes like we would just walk through the creek. But I felt like it was kind of, would be invading people's privacy. But now I got permission, so that's awesome. So if they are watching this video, thanks greatly for that. Let me come check out your lock here in your backyard. Pretty awesome. Then we'll take one last look at it going this way. Got the train coming too. Love these old locks. And just look down at my feet. This one is some of the old uh, iron work still in place too. The little you know, iron straps helping to hold the different stones together. And if you remember too, what makes this area special is that this is where they kind of started work on the canal. Even the original canal, we talked about in the last video how they first started working on this canal back in 1792. Because it wasn't called the Union Canal back then. I think they called it what, the Schuylkill and Susquehanna Canal. But that failed. But remember, just the next property over is where George Washington stayed, the Topakan Manor. Still haven't got permission for that place. I'm hoping these guys give me permission, so maybe 
maybe just maybe I'll get permission from the other place to check their stuff out but this is where I kind of where it all started historical this area right here okay but that was pretty awesome though to get to see lock number six it is it's in pretty good condition compared to most of the ones we've seen but a lot of the ones in this area here west of Myers town were in pretty great great condition actually um, but I still don't know what five and four look like like sit over at the Topakin Manor but in the next episode we'll be going to head over to where locks three two and one used to be <laughs> but the area now it's cargo by the area now is a uh, is like a limestone quarry huge limestone quarry there's nothing left of those locks anymore but we'll still cover that section in the next episode but anyway thanks for coming along this short little video he said just letting these cars pass it's a slightly slightly busy road but anyway thanks for coming along as always and we'll see you on the next one